All right, hey everyone, let's talk about Palantir Technologies, PLTR ticker for this stock. So getting right down to the skibby, I don't want to beat around the bush here. Once again, Palantir has taken on a new contract, which there were gossips of this happening here for quite a while now, and it has happened once again. And this is, Palantir is really doing everything that we have said it's going to do. Everyone that's really following it, it it's reacting the way we thought it was going to react. Um, but we're saying that there's going to be something that I, I will say too, obviously, uh, poking at the thumbnail about $15. So the contract first, obviously US Army awarded the company $250 million contract to test and develop artificial intelligence. So pretty much kind of the same thing they've been getting here um, as of late. So also was saying, so with that Palantir has been moving up here quite a bit and the last big contracts that we had with Palantir, the stock reacted the same way, uh, just slowly having a slow, slow walk up, making it right under $20. And it took a while for it to get to that point, just like what we're seeing right now. Um, you know, last week we had signs of, okay, something's happening here. The deal happened. And still, even into Wednesday, as I'm making this video, Palantir is still trying to get into an $18 range. Um, and a lot of people are surprised about this still. I, I think you know a lot of people I know I am that the market is actually performing as well as it is right now considering what's going on in the world right now but I do think a lot of people right now are also going okay well I, I don't think this good uh, tr trail of good luck and fortune here is going to continue with the stock market and Palantir as well. So let me say that. I, before I say what I'm going to say, listen, I love Palantir. I'm a heavy, heavy investor in Palantir. I think Palantir is going to be a huge stock in the next decade. And I think this is going to be one that you're crazy not to add to your portfolio. So saying that, here is what I'm going to just, what I think is going to play out here. I think Palantir is going to run a little more here. I think it's going to run a little more. I don't know that it's going to run so hot into the 20s. But I think Palantir is going to probably end the year around a $15 to $16 to $17 high dollar range if we don't see any more um, contracts come through. But more than likely, the beginning of January, it is going to start running again when we see the last quarterly come out ending out the year. The last five days, we've had a huge run on Palantir, going all the way from what we were at a high 14 into mid 4 15, 16, 17. Uh, you know, even breaking into an $18 uh, playground, and right now we're just right under $18. So, the question yes, we've still got two more days left in the market, and it feels like there's going to be a selling point at some point here. And uh, when Palantir had this last big run, it, it took it was a week's worth of run, and you can see right here it, it took a while to run to that point. Um, but when it did, it hit that big, big mark, and then it just started to fall back down into this $15 range, going into a $14 range. So this isn't me saying that Palantir is going to $10. I don't think it's obviously going to anywhere like that. But I do think um, with the market in the direction it's coming, with all of this talk of war, uh, uncertainty, and listen, we're in October going into November. December is going to be a washout. It's going to be uh, what it always is, a sellout. Um, people are getting rid of their bags and you know, they're getting ready for the new year and their taxes. Palantir will end strong, but I, I just don't see it ending strong as like, you know, people are projecting, you know, like $20, $30. I don't think 20 is out of the range of it, but I, I think the market any day here potentially could take huge, huge hit. And, and I, I, I would be very hesitant to buy Palantir at $17, $18 right now if you're not willing to sit on it for a little bit of time. I don't think you're going to sit long. If you're listening to people say like, hey, you need to get in now, I would be scared of the overall market right now. Um, we know that when there is bad news in the air and it's going around, the market will eventually take a hit from that. And the, the fact that it hasn't so far is really interesting. 
So friends, key bullet points. Yes, Palantir is going to end good this year. E either way, you know, if it does take a hit from the market here, it's still going to be ending with a great balance sheet. It's going to have a phenomenal future. This last deal we're seeing here, potentially more deals on the table here by the end of the year, especially with all this <laughs> army contract stuff. It could heat up even more. Friends, let me know what you think. Um, I, I am very, very bullish on Palantir. I, I'm just, um, I'm a little hesitant of buying in at 17 18 if you're new to the game here or you're saying like hey i'm gonna buy in even more and kind of ruin your position where you're at right now um if you're sitting at a 14 15 even you know 10 and under uh, i i think it's gonna fall a little more here i think we're gonna we're gonna wake up one day and the market's gonna be like oh yeah there's bad news around friends i will talk to you soon take care everyone bye bye